Aloha, welcome to this week's video. So this week I'm gonna be doing something very different. I actually got a ballistics dummy. So I've been wanting to test with one of these for a long time. Uh, I just, I haven't done so. They're really expensive. Um, I just happened to come across runs, so this worked out really well. I don't know if I'll be able to do another one for a long time just because they are expensive. So I'm gonna be testing all of these pieces. Uh, that first piece was kind of like a Hawaiian style ax. This is an ihe or short spear with a marlin bill tip. Um, the All of these pieces are pieces that I've wanted to test for a long time. I just haven't really had a good opportunity. This is the Warhammer that I made. Um, it uses three pieces combined. So there's an antler bone and the two of the handle and the hammer section are jointed together. This is a Native American style club. So it's kind of like the ball headed club but it's stylized after some Hawaiian patterns and, and my own personal stylizing. And then the bill is a marlin bill. So I'm really curious to see how all of those work. And then the last piece I'm going to be testing with is going to be the neva or stone club. So uh, neva is a club and then kohaku is going to be the stone. So uh, neva kohaku is what we have here. I'm pretty sure this is going to demolish it. <laughs> So it'll definitely be the piece that I wait for the end. But I'm super excited. So this first piece here, I really wanted to go for a strike on the neck or on the shoulder. But because of the angle and the I have it mounted lower down, it's really kind of a hard angle to get at. So I figured I would just go for a strike right across the face. <laughs> and I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to turn out. I was just really excited. And so I went for a, a nice solid strike. And man, did it do some damage. Uh, it actually did a little bit more damage to the piece than I was expecting. Uh, it didn't damage the wood, so it tore out uh, three, almost four of those bull shark teeth. And I'll, I'll jump in on, on this one here, just a little bit of a close-up. So it cut super deep, and I thought that that was a chunk of uh, shark tooth that was in the wound there but it actually was a piece of the bone, of the cheekbone. And so when I finally pulled it out, and it was kind of a pain to pull out because it was stuck in there kind of tight, uh, but I finally got it out, and I realized that it wasn't one of the teeth. It was actually a piece of uh, shark tooth. Or not a, not a piece of shark tooth, a piece of the cheekbone, which is crazy. So it made a super deep laceration. It either broke or cut this section of bone off. So the strike definitely wouldn't kill you, I don't think, but it would be just dehabilitating. Like that would just stop you in your tracks. And there was a tooth just embedded right in the side there. <laughs> so the next piece I'm gonna be testing with is the Ihe. I'm just going to be doing a couple thrusting strikes. The first one is right towards what would be center or the throat. You can't really tell from here, but it actually went all the way to the spine, which was crazy. Um, I thought it broke the tip of the spear, which is why I was kind of testing it there, or checking it there with my hand. So then I went for a side um, into what would be your collar. That went probably a good two, three to four inches deep. And then I went for a final finishing strike. I was really nervous about this. I thought I was gonna just break the Marlin bill. It did end up breaking a section of it, but it actually just pierced right through. So that was crazy. And you can kind of see the very tip broke off just a little bit, which isn't a big deal. I can fix that later. I'll probably just sharpen it down. But that was pretty impressive. Uh, the next piece I'm testing with is the hammer. So I'm gonna do just a single strike with the hammer section of it. So just blunt force. I didn't hit it very hard just because I didn't want to... I still have other pieces I wanna test with and so I was trying to minimize at the same time as seeing how much damage it can do. Um, and it, it, it did a decent strike. The next hit was with the, the spike. And this is an antler beer, or an antler from a deer, deer antler. And it kind of hit uh, the sloping section of the skull and just slid along it. So it didn't actually penetrate. And so I went for another strike, just a little bit higher of an angle. And that just stabbed right in. So you can't tell from this angle, which is kind of unfortunate. But it went in probably halfway to three quarters of the way of that antler that deer antler. So that would just be, that'd just be a finishing strike. I thought this was going to pierce just straight in and it kind of did. It stabbed in so you can see where 
it stabbed in that section there, but it shattered the marlin bill. So I didn't expect that. This was a pretty solid marlin bill, and when I had tested with it previously, it held on perfectly. But against that thick, uh, fake skull, it just shattered. Now it definitely caused plenty of damage, and even after it shattering, you know, it's still a ball-headed club, still a lot of mass, still do a ton of damage with that. Uh, but I'm not going to continue testing with this piece just because I wanted to make sure that I still had things fairly intact for the Neva. So I'm super excited for this piece. I hope the, the rock head doesn't pop off. That was kind of what I was worried about. But man, that thing just hit solid. What was crazy is when I hit it, I almost didn't feel any resistance. It just the weight and mass of it moving just carried it through and you can see how much damage that created it just completely chunked out uh, the front section where I hit just an absolute monster of a piece um, if you were hit with this anywhere it would just cause just enormous damage it would shatter your bones so then I went for a, another strike on the top and you can see in a little bit of slow-mo here it just caved in oh my gosh this piece is just a monster Definitely my hardest hitting piece. Uh, it's a ton of fun to swing. It's a little bit heavy, but man, you, you you hit any section of it. I mean, if you were to block with your arm, it would just shatter your arm. And then a final strike on the side. And as you can see here in the slow mode, it just demolished that piece. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my wife was uh, super grossed out watching this. <laughs> I didn't I thought I got the one with the blue dye but I, I didn't it was the red <laughs> just another look at that piece well this was a ton of fun I had an absolute blast with this I'd love to do more but again these are uh, super expensive so if you like this go ahead and like and subscribe uh, leave a comment in the comments below uh, every little bit helps um, it's just a little review of some of the pieces some of them took no damage some of them took a little bit of damage uh, it really helps me out a lot if you comment and share uh, mahalo nui for everyone that watches my videos. I have some really fun projects coming up. I'm super excited about, but this was just a fun uh, test I got to do. I got to fix up some of my pieces now, but that's just part of it. <laughs> well, I see you next time. Aloha.